Previously on Super Cringe Roleplay. I want the same deal Ben Affleck got. <laughs> Jokesters, jolly juice. <laughs> Seats taken. <laughs> Three of them went in there and never came back out. I, I, I really don't know what happened. How much for the Sukhandi's necklace? <laughs> I can't wait till he comes back with all the information about what type of creatures are in the mud. Any defenses that the Borman has. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have to say something. Your mascara is running. Drop trial. Let's see what I'm working with. Let's do all the things that you want to do. Good. Now you're on board. I'm going to shove that trinket right up my ass. <laughs> it looks very similar to a necklace worn by a tribe known as the Sukandis. Who? <laughs> Sukandis nuts. <laughs> and now, back to our story. Hello, and welcome back to Super Cringe Roleplay. I am the Game Master for this season, Aaron Hannington, and I'm joined here with Mikey and Chris. Greetings. Shadow Dwellers. Again? I shortened it. <laughs> it was the abridged version of my intro. <laughs> Move it along. <laughs> and, and Nat and Clint. <laughs> Hello, my learned friends. Hey. <laughs> so... Our group is still split. Um, Nocturnal had a, an interesting uh, debut with uh, <laughs> <laughs> with, with the, the demon. Um, he uh, took and stole a, a necklace from the Borman. Uh, and hit it. <laughs> and <Thoroughly>. hit it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Upon going back to the demon, uh, destroyed the uh, the diamond and set the demon free. Uh, the other three, they uh, went shopping again. Uh, Jokester went down and did some uh, talking with the, the thieves guild. Uh, they <laughs> they uh, uh, finished up their shopping, went back to the cloud and uh, started heading towards Mudfront to go save Nocturnal. Uh, gentlemen, that's where we'll pick up tonight on the cloud with you three. What would you like to do? Wait, time out. Oh, time out. I missed the part. I went to Black and Oak. That's right. You went to Black and Oak and uh, received some... Blessings? Blessings. Blessings. <laughs> totally, totally not evil or nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so, gentlemen, what would you like to do? How close are we to our destination? You just left, so uh, you got about three days of journey. Fair enough. Three days, more than I need. All right, in the morning, I would like to send a message to Nocturnal. Okay. Nocturnal. We are on the airship, just checking in. <clears throat> How is your situation? On day one, you're still in the mine of their travel. You're still in the mine. Gotcha. Situation has not improved. Looking for a way out. 
I'll let you know as soon as something happens. Jokester, what are you trying to say? I'm doing a sad face. No, I was telling you what you were telling me to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he, he, he's trying to say that your cowl came forward a little bit. <laughs> he's trying to put a smile on that face. We couldn't have done this like... Or a frown. Before we started recording. <laughs> it was okay before we started. It kind of slipped forward a bit. God, we're professionals, no. folks. Absolutely. <laughs> Don't try this at home. <laughs> That's that, much better. Is that to your liking? Yes. Better? 100%. <laughs> Can we proceed? <laughs> Jesus Christ. No. Your mascara is kind of smearing again. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a refund on my spell? <laughs> God damn. Good morning, gentlemen. I think Mr. Nocturnal is already drunk. <laughs> when is he not? <laughs> Which is a good sign. That means they're giving him ale wherever he's at. Treated really well. Wait, I didn't say sinned. <sighs> That's fine. Sinned. Say it. Send. There you go. I'm just going to head to one of the decks so that I can look over the edge of the ship. Okay. I'm just going to kind right. of enjoy the view. Alrighty. I'm going to walk up right next to him. I'm doing the same. Okay. Use <laughs> <laughs> that drop the wind. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Jokester. Good morning. I'm going to walk to the other side. <laughs> Alright, so you guys are enjoying the view. <laughs> Burden, what are you doing? I am scouring the ship to see if I can find two uh, either mugs or goblets or some sort of device for liquid transportation. Okay. Um, it's easy enough to find a couple mugs. Good. I shall take them back to my room. Okay. So you go back to your room? Yep. And I will put them in my foot locker, and uh, then I'll go try to find the doctor, see what he's doing. Okay. Don't worry. They will be coming into play later. I promise you that. Foreshadowing. <laughs> All right. Foretelling. So, <laughs> so the three of you are on the, the deck, kind of watching... Uh, enjoying the views. Uh, currently, you're over uh, an ocean, uh, heading in the southeasterly direction. Uh, I need all of you to make a perception roll. I'm exempt. Yes, you are. Am I good now? Yes. Ten. Thanks for not making that Twelve. awkward. Three. I was trying not to. I thought you would know what I was talking well, about. Doctor, you barely made it. Uh, I do believe you're going to need to make a wisdom save as you see a flock of seabirds coming towards you. <laughs> a large flock of seabirds. Can we make them seagulls? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm about to run. <laughs> So far away. <laughs> oh, that's a good roll, though. You said a wisdom save? Yes. 25. Okay, so you are not afraid right now. Um, as these birds come closer, uh, the I guy... I take a step back. <laughs> the, the guy up in the crow's nest yells, Captain, these birds are strange. They're not acting normal. She comes up. Takes out a spyglass, she's looking, she goes, this is weird. These birds do not normally flock together. What is going on? Well, obviously they're not birds of a feather. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> she goes, brace yourself, gentlemen. I do not know what is about to happen, but it can't be good. I'm just sitting there, like, putting my hand up, waiting for one to come land on my hand. 
right. So I need all of you to make a wisdom save. Me again? Yes. that one <laughs> interesting that's what the ship rolled <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> jesus 23 15 okay so everybody except for the good doctor freezes in place doctor the birds come closer i take a step back they get within 20 feet of the ship and they start flying circles around the ship um, almost encasing it the noise of the birds get extremely loud and this one comes flying straight at you and about 10 feet away it transforms from a bird to a woman she has long silver hair she has green kelp as a dress. Her eyes are bright green. She has several necklaces uh, of big gemstones on. And she has a... Allow me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it. <laughs> she has a crown there of gold around her head. Dr. Brandon Straw, you are talking about me. Why? I talk about a lot of people. Who might you be? I am the Witch of the Dark Sea. Sahara? Yes. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> I was trying to get close, I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to role play it. Let him do it. We're role playing. <laughs> to be honest, good madam, I wish to drag this conversation out as long as possible. <laughs> <laughs> When we were at the Black Rock, we did some interrogations and we found out that you were interested in variants of myself. I am. And do you know why? It is my understanding that you desire my power. Yes. You have another magical one amongst you too. Uh-uh. I may take his power as well. Unless you have a good enough reason for me not to. What are you doing with the power? She goes, oh. Fighting it. I absorb your powers and it makes me stronger. She kind of walks up to Burden and she goes, a small demonstration. And she muckles a hold of him, gives him a big old kiss, yes. and when she pulls away, you see something coming out of Burden, almost like part of his soul, his essence. And she becomes younger. She becomes you can sense a little bit more powerful. And she goes, that is what I use it for. She goes, but, if you can give me a good enough reason, maybe I will forego siphoning your powers in your friend's powers. How did you find us? <laughs> He's a team player. <laughs> she goes, I have my ways. Greetings, I'm Burden. 
you like what you see here, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and follow us on all of our social media accounts. And check out our Patreon for special, exclusive content. Now, back to our program. I want to, if I can just tell by looking at her, how strong she seems. You th toe to toe, you think you would have issues, but you might be able to win. How far is she from the edge? Uh, she is currently about 10 feet. Should have been six feet. How, how close are they to me? Uh, jokesters, actually, both of them would be, let's say you backed up twice, so they're about 10 feet away. They're 10 feet, you say? Yeah. And everyone on the ship is frozen. Yes. Yeah, we are. I'm going to cast Lehman's tiny hut. They're within 10 feet. They would be within the, in the hut, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. How long does that take to cast? I can do it instantly if I use yeah. a spell slot. Okay. What, what level spell is that? It's a level three. going to try to interrupt your spell. She got an 18, so I do believe that succeeds. She, uh, she, uh, stops your spell. So the glow starts coming out and she just smiles at you. Put your arm down. <laughs> <I try. laughs> it's starting to hurt my arm. <laughs> she goes, now, now, doctor. No funny games. It Let's was... talk like civilized people. Well, it wasn't an aggressive act. I just needed some time to think. Well, why don't we go think? She goes, points to the captain's quarters. She goes, why don't we go have a seat? Enjoy some ale. As I'm walking past these two, I want to take a look at them to see if I can tell, like, w w if I can decipher what has happened to them exactly that has frozen them. I suspect it's magic, but I'm trying to figure out, like, what kind of magic it is. You're thinking time has stopped hmm. for them. Uh, they're not blinking. They're not breathing. They're not not moving at all. So it's not paralysis. It's no. The, it's a much stronger yes. spell. We just and, got and Professor noticed, X'd. You notice that the wind doesn't seem like it's blowing. Is the airship even moving, or are we, like, frozen in the no. sky? ship is not moving. The only thing's moving is you, her, and the birds. Let us go enjoy a drink. Choose you first. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll walk into the captain's okay. quarters. She walks in behind you, closes the door, and she kind of brings over, magically brings over some mugs and some ale. She pours it down. She goes, so, why should I not take yours and Burden's powers? I think we would be of better use to you if you left us on our own better use to me. None of the other doctors came up with this. Do. Do tell me. Well, to be quite honest with you, as you are exceedingly powerful and I'm sure quite aware and astute, I also desire power. Maybe not for youth, but for power in general. If you leave me alone and my comrade, at least burden, <laughs> Jokester means nothing to me. He has no magic. I've been saying this the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Are we talking player knowledge? Or... 
It's all in character. <laughs> I'm sure we could help each other find greater power. Hmm. I'm intrigued. Go on. How do you propose that you can find me greater power? Well, to be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure how you acquire your power. And since I am new to these lands, I'm only learning about how I acquire my own. Ooh. My goal is to attain as much power as possible. But if there's a mutual benefit, I'd be willing to work with you. Interesting. So, can you supply me? It doesn't have to be a good person. It can be bad people. I am not heartless. If you can supply me with two people of magics monthly, I will leave you in burden alone. Have you heard of the Valley of the Shadow of Death? I have not. We rebranded it recently. Hmm, interesting. Um, do I don't I don't have that map right? Uh, yes, you guys actually do have okay. a map of it. So I pull out the map and I show her. Okay. We have recently acquired this area, <clears throat> and we will be having people moving through there. Okay. And since we own these lands, I'm sure we can find someone to sate your appetite. Would she know it was called Black Rock? Actually, it's the the valley where the trolls were. Oh, that's right. The mines. She goes. Okay. I will accept your proposal. She goes, and if it does not happen, then I will come back for you in burden. I will give you a month to get things organized. Is that fair for you? That is quite fair. Okay. You're obviously well-traveled. Are you able to get there on your own? I am. Thank you for your concern. So, Doctor... Why do you fear the birds? <laughs> I pull out a point of the glass of <laughs> ale. <sighs> Should I call you Sahara? Call me what you wish. Good madam. In the lands that I come from, I was a professor. Do you know what those are? Yes, I do. At the university at which I worked, we would do experiments involving fear. And when I was doing one of the experiments, some of the substances that I used overwhelmed me. Mm -hmm. It was an experiment involving birds. While I don't fear many things, it is one of my fears. Interesting. It's good to know. Well, doctor, you seem to be traveling good distance. I won't keep you any longer. Remember, one month. And with that, she walks out the door, the birds fly away, and everybody comes back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to sit in the cabin for a little bit. <laughs> Where'd she go? <laughs> the captain... Captain... Kinda. That was weird. She comes back into the captain's quarters and why are you in here? It's a long story. I'll tell you along the way. Okay. Well, we've got the ways to go. Interesting. Nocturnal. Me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so You've awakened, you've had your meal, you did have a long rest while you were passed out, just so you know. Yay, hit points. <laughs> I was running low there. <laughs> Black and Oak says, it is your time for your revenge, my friend. It's time indeed. 
I hope your powers serve you well. One last cup of ale before I leave. Absolutely. For an old friend. <laughs> Fills it up. I appreciate what you've done for me. He goes, I think uh, payment's coming. I will enjoy watching this. Should be quite the sight. I hope so. Enjoy the shadows. I shall. You too, my friend. Yes. I'll start making my way out. Okay. Anywhere special that you're going to. So I'm in the, the dead forest, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you're in the dead forest. That is uh, north of where the logging camp was. <clears throat> I need to go visit my buddy Hassel back at Silver Point. Okay. So you travel back down to Silver Point. Get in there. Hassel's behind his desk, just a working away, writing down some things. He says, if you need any help, just let me know. I'm just writing some stuff down. Hassel. Oh. I'm grabbing by his shirt. Oh. The belt you gave me. Yes. Where did you get it? I, 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 I can show you. I can show you. It's a cursed belt. It's cursed? No, no, it's not cursed. It's not cursed. If you saw what I saw, it was cursed. What did you see? I saw an old woman. Oh. Dead. Oh. Powerful. Scary. Oh. I want more of it. Send me to her. Oh. Uh, that's... <laughs> I'm glad you said that. <laughs> I thought you were going to be upset with me. Sorry, I was a little aggressive. Yes, I could take you to her. I'm evil now, apparently. <laughs> now? Oh. Oh. So you're worse than before? <laughs> oh. Okay. Come, follow me. Want to wait around and find out, or you want to leave me? No, no, no! Come, 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 come! I, I, I'll show you. Let's go. <laughs> Jumps down, goes over to the door, locks it, says a couple of things. Okay, come, come, follow me. Starts going down through. I follow. He gets a, uh, gets up to the, the keep, kind of goes to the the left side of the keep. Um, there is a crypt opening pushes open the door is come 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 lead you down inside this crypt um there's burials all down through here um bodies hundreds and hundreds of bodies like bodies or just sarcophagus uh, or both a little bit of both some of the bodies are just draped with cloth um some of them are in sarcophaguses. Some of them are almost look like they were some sort of mud or cement or some sort of mixture poured on top of them. Um, Do we have something for producer to find? <laughs> uh, I don't know if we had a crypt or not because I didn't even think about that. Just dungeon or? <laughs> yeah, dungeon. That yeah. be good. <laughs> no problem. Um, um, he, he leads you down about three stories um down in here the air is really thin is it like a winding staircase or um yeah it, it's not quite a staircase more of a ramp um okay get you down there uh there there are torches uh so it's not completely dark down in here um and he brings you to this one room and he goes uh, the mistress is in there uh, I, I, I will introduce you to her, and uh, then I will leave you at it, too, okay? She told me to come see her. Then, then I will. He knocks on the door. And you hear the voice. Enter, please. Let's go inside. <laughs> Hassel goes, I'll wait out here for you, okay? <laughs> Don't go anywhere, Hassel. Nope, won't go nowhere. Go inside. All right. You step inside. Nat one. <laughs> He's trying to hit a fly. Another damn fly. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like the second time. 
<laughs> Stop. Stop. Power through. So you step inside, and this old woman that you saw before in your mind, um, flesh rotting off, uh, she's wearing a dark purple robe today. She goes, Nocturnal. She goes, You finally came. I was preoccupied. It's been a rough couple of days. I see. You are different. How so? Uh, you are darker than before. The shadows seem to follow you. Well, thank you. I appreciate the compliment. Hmm. So, what can I do for you now, Nocturnal? When I attuned to my belt, I had visions of you. You told me to come see you. Yes. And yet you had a gift for me. I don't know if the gift will work for you anymore. How unfortunate. Yes. Care to try anyway? I can... I can try. She reaches down, picks up this, this helmet, and she goes, put it on. See if it will even let you. I'm not sure if you noticed, but I, I lost my belt. Yes, I know where it is. I might be able to get it back. I think you will. So a helmet. Yes. Let's put it on. Nope. Shadows won't let you put it on at all. Damn. Sorry, my lady. Sure. But, uh... No apologies. It's what not happening. What is better, I think. You think so? If you like this path, I think so. Mind if I keep the helmet? You may. Here's my gift to you. I appreciate that. Just out of curiosity. Why were you trying to help me? Let's just say... There are enemies that we both have. And you can see them? Yes. I might have use for you in the future. You know where I am now. I do. Come see me anytime. Should take out our enemies one by one. That sounds good. Who do you want to take out first? Boar man. Okay. Thought you were gonna say burden. <laughs> 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 she goes Do you want your comrades? Do I want them? Yes They seem to be uh, Useful I've grown quite fond of them Aww. So We can do this one of two ways I can send you back to the boar man or I can send you to your friends. Interesting proposal. I'm not sure if they know where I am. I need to go back to my friends. You can take me there? I can send you there, yes. Do you want anything in return? Not right now. You taking care of our mutual enemies will probably be payment enough. In the meantime, I need you to look over the city for me. Inform me of anything, any movement against me or my comrades. I can do this. I appreciate that. Now, Miss Everglade is one of your contacts, is she not? She is. She is She's not to be harmed. She is being removed from the city by Mr. Steele. Did something happen? Somebody let known that she was back in business. The only people who knew were the lava boys. The dwarves. They might have got drunk and said something and didn't realize. Do you know more? Who was it? It was one of the lesser of the lava boys. Give me a name. 
<sighs> yes. No pressure. No pressure. I got his name. <laughs> I just can't remember it right off the top of my head. <laughs> uh, Norton. What was that name again? Norton. Norton? Yes. Antivirus? <laughs> I'm about to eradicate him. <laughs> he tends to get drunk and have loose lips. Do you know where I can find him? Uh, this hour, he is probably working one of the mines. One of the mines where we encountered the ants. I'm assuming you saw that. Yes, I did. That was quite impressive. No, he's a uh, Probably in one of the upper mines, um, they're opening uh, a new branch, um, and I do believe that is where the lava boys are at this time. I appreciate the info. You're most welcome. I'll see you again soon. Looking forward to it. Appreciate your time. Happy trails. Indeed. Okay. Good. <laughs> So where are you going? Oh, I don't know. The mines. Okay. <laughs> so you travel up to the, the the northeast part of the the city where the mines are. A couple of dwarves standing there. They go, Ah, Nocturnal! What brings you here? I just needed to meet up with one of your associates. Uh, who are you looking for? I'm looking for Norton. Uh, one of the lava boys. He says, yeah, they're down in the third mine. Uh, opening up a new one. You want to ride down? Sure, let's go. All right, come on. They get on the, the little elevator. They bring you down to the third one. And they're like, you should be down there. About a half a mile on the right. All right, appreciate it. Not a problem. You travel down. Not hard to find. They're all there constructing a new mine. It's Opal Hammer there? Yep. I need to go up to Opal Hammer and pull him aside. All right. He says, ah, nocturnal. He goes, good to see you. What, uh, what do I owe this pleasure? It's not going to be a pleasure. One of your men betrayed my trust. How do you say? Excuse me? What do you mean? What? Regarding our deal with the Everglade. Really? Which one? Norton. Coming for him? I am. I wanted you to hear from me first. Don't come looking. Do you want him tonight, or do you want him now? Right now. Let me get the other boys. They won't react well. Do what you gotta do. I'll take them and leave him. I'm sorry that he broke your trust. We made a deal. I understand. Sorry you had to be this way. Do what you must. And he gathers up everybody but Norton, and they leave. Time to stealth it up. Alrighty. Nat 20. Alright, so you disappear. <laughs> He's like, hey. Oh, where'd you go, Nocturnal? You want to talk to me? This ain't funny. What do you want with me? I have a question about my newly acquired powers. Mm hmm. I'm not exactly sure how they work, but I want to really, really want to stab this guy in his neck. Okay. You can either use the, the shadow daggers or the, the shadow swords. Let's do the daggers. Okay. I got to double check the damage. <laughs> Something that could have been done before the episode. Just... Yeah, we literally just stopped shooting the other one. Last week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're not doing these back to back. <laughs> this is my first beer. 
I mean, that's not true even on other nights. <laughs> <laughs> so, sneak attack. Yes. It's 11. It's, do I add my regular dagger damage? Yes. 15, but then I got necrotic. Yes. 17 total. Ooh, all right. So you stab him in the neck. Right in the he neck. Goes, He's like, oh, why? Why are you doing this to me, Nocturne? I don't know, Nortone. Someone's got a big mouth. I'm sorry. I, I you talk endangered. when I get drunk. You endangered the woman I love. I, 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 didn't, I didn't mean to. It's too late for you now. But, but I can make it better. Yes? Yes? Sure. What can I do? Die. Ah! Stab him again. Okay. <laughs> so, you, you, you just stabbing him until he dies, or are you going to try to cut his throat? Going to hold him by his mouth and just stab him in his neck oh, until he dies. Okay. <laughs> Tries to break free, but he just cannot muster the strength. And you just stab and stab and stab, and the blood's going everywhere. You want me to pantomime it? <laughs> Die. After about... Little bastard. After about the eighth or tenth time, he finally loses enough blood and passes out and dies. I'm going to go look for a giant hole. Oh, there's a big one. Throw his body in it. Okay. <laughs> Drag him down. <laughs> Toss him. <laughs> Is the hole deep enough? Do I need to cover it? Uh, it depends on which hole you want to throw it in. You can deepest. You can go up to the the elevator shaft and throw him down where he'll fall about three four hundred feet and splatter out the end. I don't want anyone to see it. Oh, okay. Uh, so another hole that you can find, you would probably have to cover the body. It's about three feet deep. It's fine. I got all day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you toss him in this hole, <laughs> cover it up. <laughs> would you like a performance check? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> I was just kidding. Hey, you offered. <laughs> yeah, that's actually really good. Yeah. Natural 18 so far. Nice. I don't think I have a bonus. Gonna find it eventually. <laughs> nope, 18. Okay. That's really good, though. All right, you cover up the body. Can't even tell that anything's buried there. Looks like part of the floor. Done what I came to do. Gotta go back to the lady. Okay. The lich. All right. Can I call her like the Lich Queen? That's fine. Let's go back to her. I gotta get teleported back to my boys. Okay. So, as you arrive to her, I'm gonna stop you right there. So, evening comes on the cloud. What would you guys like to do? I'm still in the captain's quarters. <laughs> 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 You're getting blocked, bro. Oh, God, God. <laughs> I'm still just outside waiting for the birds to come back. <laughs> I'm just staying out of the open air. <laughs> <sighs> I go to my cabin. Okay. And I fetch the two mugs. All right. And I lace one of them with the love potion. Okay. Love potion. And then I go find some very good ale, well, the best ale that we have on the ship. Okay. And then I fill both the mugs up with the ale. Okay. And then I head to the captain's quarters. All right. So you go up, knock upon her door, just enter. Good evening, Captain. Ah, Burden. Good evening. Come in. Yes, thank you. I. What are you doing here? What are you doing here, Mr. Burden? <laughs> I've 
come to thank our gracious hostess with ale and a performance. Can I see the mugs? No. <laughs> I just was wondering which ale you had, Mr. Burden. I didn't know you were going to be here. You can go get your own. Can I at least smell the ale? No. <laughs> Insight check? <laughs> Burden, are you up to something? Uh, no, Captain. Of course not. Do a deception check. Are the mugs identical? Dirty 20. Mm. Yeah, they are. <laughs> she goes, hmm. So, please have a seat, Burden. Oh, why, thank you. And I go ahead and I place one mug in front of her and one mug in front of me. You got them mixed up. Got it? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. It's going to be like a Prince's Bride thing. <laughs> He's already immune to his own. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, uh, uh. Please, my lady, uh, my, my lady captain, uh, please drink while I perform for you a, a, a song from my native land. He plays the best music, captain. Oh. From outside, you just hear me. No. <laughs> <laughs> do your performance. Oh, why, thank you. Uh, should I do a performance check? Yes. Excellent. Fourteen. Okay, you're doing good. It's not bad. <laughs> Baby, I'm hot just like an oven. I stand up and walk out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> I need some loving. I close the door behind me. <laughs> I can't hold on much longer. I lost my place getting stronger and stronger. <laughs> and when I get that feeling, I want <coughs> sexual healing. <laughs> sexual <laughs> healing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the song that I had the doctor heal me to when I got rug burn on my genitalia. <laughs> Jokester, Jokester, do not go in there. <laughs> Woo. Oh, I know. I wasn't planning on it. <laughs> I'm still hearing him singing inside. I'm like, would you shut the fuck up? <laughs> <sighs> oh. So while you're doing that, do a perception check. Oh crap. Oh crap. Did you say persuasion? Perception. Damn. <laughs> oh, 17. Okay. So, she goes, oh, that was good burden. Please sit down. Let's drink and talk. Yes, Captain. Yes. Yes, cheers. She drinks. Do a constitution save. Crap. <laughs> I knew I was going to get things mixed up. No, she switched them and you didn't see. <laughs> 14. So you are madly in love with her. <laughs> and you'll do anything that she says. Oh, you poor bastard. <laughs> Joke's on her. I was there anyways. And I would have done that anyways. So. That's what she wants you to think. <laughs> so, 
She goes, Burden, go to your two comrades and give them big hugs and tell them how much you appreciate them and how much you adore them. Oh, yes, Captain. At once. <laughs> she she kind of follows to watch. <laughs> <laughs> So who do you go hug first? <laughs> you know what I'm thinking, right? No. No, no, you don't. No. Spit it out. No. Uh oh. Oh no. Watch the cameras. Jeez. Oh no. Oh dear God. Oh my. I love you both so much. <laughs> and. I appreciate you and I respect you all so much. Get the oh, fuck off get, of me. Oh, what? Said what? love was not reciprocated. Doing what I was told. You guys hear the captain laughing behind you. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> she goes, Doctor, he's <laughs> drunk something that makes him act like a little puppy dog. What? She goes, <laughs> is, there, is there anything you would like to see him do? I cast Lesser Restoration on him. <laughs> <laughs> so it is broken. Oh. She goes, Now, Burden, did you have fun? Yes, Captain. You do not have to drug me. You can just ask. Things may go better. Oh, you're right, but uh, I think after that embarrassing uh, action I just made right there, I, I think I'm just going to uh, sleep it off for now. Plus, ow! <laughs> Damn pokey talon thing. <laughs> I'm never going over there again. Thank God. <laughs> Uh, uh, my lady captain, I, I bid you a good night. Uh, good guys, night to you. stay out of the room oh, no. for at least the next hour or two. <laughs> Producer, is he still lined up okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm a professional. I'll give you that. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we have you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you go off to to your room to lick your wounds. <laughs> well, I'm licking that's something. one way of putting it. <laughs> God. <laughs> Captain looks at two of you and says, if you wish, you can sleep in my room tonight. Son of a... <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. That is most generous. I think our GM is just trolling you now. <laughs> <laughs> Must have pissed him off. <laughs> I got this one. <laughs> what do you mean by that, Mr. Jokester? Oh, no. Nothing. Go to sleep. <laughs> just, just sleeping. In her room. In her bed. I cast blindness. <laughs> I turn around and go in her room. <laughs> well, there is a save. <laughs> There's a no, save if you want it. <laughs> okay. What? It's a con save of 15. Not one. <laughs> she, she chuckles again. <laughs> takes, I'm just bouncing off the fucking walls. <laughs> she oh, takes, shit. takes you by the hand and leads you into her room. <laughs> she goes, Oh, God, this, tell me it's you. <laughs> this, this is the best. <laughs> she goes, Doctor, is there anything you need? I am fine. I think I will actually wait a couple of hours and then join Mr. Burden. <laughs> the mess will be cleaned up by then. Press the digitation, press the digitation, press the digitation. 
press the digitation. <laughs> Are you lighting candles? <laughs> no, he just has to cast it all over the room. <laughs> so Jokester enjoys the evening, even though he's blind. <laughs> Performance check. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Disadvantage. <laughs> Since I'm blind. No. No. Nah. The, bl the blindness only lasts for a minute. Oh boy. <laughs> Six. <laughs> well. He enjoys. I mean, I had a good time. <laughs> I think to make it fair, she needs to roll performance too. <laughs> Let's do this. So, it would be a twenty-one. Wow! Oh, oh, oh. You only flubbed that one. Oh. She rocked my world. <laughs> you might have to make give her a drink for your shortcomings. We broke the producer. <laughs> Producer, chill. <laughs> Be professional, damn it. <laughs> Wipe them tears. <laughs> so, in the morning, when you normally send your message... She's met with a disappointed scowl. <laughs> when he sends his message to you this time, you're actually in Civil Point, walking back towards the Lich's quarters. All right, so we've had a long rest then? Mm -hmm. Well, at least a couple of us have. <laughs> Didn't need one anyways. <laughs> so I'm going to cast sending. Nocturnal. I don't know where you're at. But please get here quickly. I'm tired of these idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Also, just checking in. <laughs> Send. Send. Dr. Straw. I'm not with the boar man anymore. I'm back in Silver Point. Headed to you shortly. I know this must be confusing. Send. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have time to check, did ya? <laughs> Comment down below if you made it within 20 words. <laughs> so I... Having heard that, I would do it again. So I'm going to cast sending. What do you mean you'll be here shortly? Give me a minute. Send. <laughs> <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> All right. So you walk back into her, her room, and she says, Deed is done, I see. It is. Do you wish to travel to your friends now? I do. Then away you go. Farewell, my lady. Till next time. She starts her chant, and you disappear from there, and you appear upon the white boards of the cloud. With the good doctor standing there, kind of in amazement that you're right next to him. Hey, Doc. How you been, buddy? I run up to Nocturnal. I go to give him a hug, but I stop. Fix my clothing and I offer a handshake. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Bring it in, buddy. I pull a man in for a big old hug. Okay. 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 That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> you deserve this. I missed you. So I have like a thousand questions, but how did you get here? Long story. I don't think you want to hear it. Burden, you are waking up to Nocturnal's voice. Where's Jokester? I miss that stupid face I hit. I don't want to think about that. Oh my god. As Why? Burden's walking by the door. That's I'm happened. opening it up, smoking a <laughs> <laughs> Shirt off. Oh, hey, buddy. Jokester. What the hell, dude? What the shit? You having a good time? Looking for me real hard, I see. <laughs> yeah. Real hard. Very, very hard. <laughs> Why does the captain look so dissatisfied? <laughs> Beats me, I had a great time. <laughs> Sounds Careful of right. your phrasing, Mr. Jokester. I got you. 
<laughs> Whatever, I'm back now. It's time to party this up. I've been in living hell for I don't know how long. It's been about over a week, right? It's been over a week. I opened the door. It has not been fun. Nocturnal, you're here. Thought I was just having a nightmare. I'm gonna go shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry guys for the interruption. Where were we? I believe we were talking about partying. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I open the door again. Don't you shut me out. Y'all hear something? <laughs> no. Oh, didn't think so. What are y'all doing? What are y'all on this airship? Why am I here? We don't know why you're here, but we were headed to the domain of the Bormen to find you. Yeah, I was pushing for your rescue harder than everyone. Yeah. Is this yeah. true? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, good enough. Do an insight. He wasn't opposed to getting you. That's a W in my book. Jokester. Yeah. I missed you, buddy. Missed you. Can you put some say? clothes on first, please? No, no. Oh. At least some pants. Don't ruin the moment. Let's go grab some beers. <laughs> first, I'm going to go give you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> totally nude. Can I stealth? <laughs> <laughs> tip to tip. You can you can use your powers. I have something for that. Yeah, you can bring the shadows to you. I'm gonna bring some shadows to me. <laughs> or, or darkness? Which one? Either one. Yeah, let's do darkness. Okay. <laughs> so the entire room goes black. <laughs> Go to. <laughs> I'm going to trip him. <laughs> Do a dexterity save. Nat 20. Oh, plus Ooh. 6. Ooh. Yeah, you do not succeed. He just... Do, do, do. Uh, <laughs> well, I avoided the damage, so... It's all good. I can't see shit. I'm just... Hello, I'm going to walk around behind him. Friend. I have blind fighting. I can kind of tell where everyone is. And then I'll dispel dark... Okay. If that's how it works. You can dispel it whenever you want. We're going to have to talk about these later because I don't know any of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of winging it here. <laughs> so you Jokes. dispelled it? What's up? You dispelled the darkness? Dispel darkness. Oh. oh, there everyone is. I can see you all now. If I do it fast enough, can I create like a strobe? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, don't worry about that, though. <laughs> I'm going to go behind Jokester and tap him on the shoulder. Like a... No hands. You can go put some clothes on now. Oh. <laughs> Hide your shame. Oops. <laughs> about that time, Captain walks in, drops your clothes on the floor. She goes, you forgot something. <laughs> wow. What did I miss? She's like, and who is this? And how did you get aboard my ship? Long story. I honestly don't feel like telling it. Okay. Just watch the last episode. I'm the guy that y'all are trying to rescue. This is Mr. Nocturnal, our comrade who was captured by the Boar Man. Interesting. And now you're here. I am. Huh. Mission complete. Let's turn around and head on home. I don't know if you want to put this thing in autopilot while I confer with my associates we gotta figure out a game plan game what plan for what wishing to do kill everyone not on the ship just everyone associated with the boar man I will let you discuss things and I will keep the course as is thank you captain thank you captain appreciate it we haven't had the pleasure. What is your name? Yep. <laughs> I forgot her Lindale. name. Lindale. <laughs> huh? Lindale. Yeah, that's it. Captain, Captain Lindale. Captain Lindale. <laughs> I had it in my head, and then when you asked, it was gone. Well, he was nude, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she forgot her own name. <laughs> well, there's, there's a lot going on. It's okay. <laughs> Captain Lindale. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, Nocturnal. Sorry for the intrusion, but, uh... It is a good intrusion. I had no other options. Hey, 
it is all good. As we turn around to go um, discuss things amongst each other, I turn around. Thanks, Captain. I'm glad one of us enjoyed it. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> she, walks, she walks out closest to the white. <laughs> I, I pull the doctor to the side. Yes, Mr. Burden? Did you know that the jokester was a woman? How do you mean, Mr. Burden? I just saw her with no pants on and, uh, you know, it's like a Ken doll down there. It's, it's very flat. I think that's just for censorship reasons, Mr. Burton. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, sans testicles, I think it's proper term. I never thought he had any to begin with. Oh. He strikes, he also strikes me as quite androgynous. <laughs> Very David Bowie. All of you can fuck yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Jokester, grab some ale. Join me in the captain's quarters. Is that where we're at? No, you're in their room. Where can we go where there's like a bar or something? <laughs> well, there's no bar on this ship. Something there, there is. There is a dining area. That's that's fine. Okay. We so, did buy some ale for you. We have a couple of kegs aboard. I got some hidden somewhere too. I forgot. You're that, pulling? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking it, and he said, it. "Let's not speak of these things. <laughs> Let us just rejoice." Just playing the odds, Mister Nocturnal. <laughs> not sure how you would know these things, but whatever. <laughs> Kind of got a big back door there. I think you could hide a lot back there. Jokes are my good buddy. <laughs> yes. Let's grab some beers. Hell yeah. Have a good time. I missed you guys. Having said that, mm -hmm. I got some plans we need to discuss. Discuss away. Let's head into the dining room first. Okay. All right. You guys walk down into the dining room. Do we have a... Um, you can... You guys sit down, um, have your ale. Nobody else is in here at the time. Couple of couple of uh, cooks and whatnot are in the kitchen, but nobody's in the dining area. Gentlemen, the boar man kept me hostage, forced me to work, experimented on me. It's one of the worst things I've ever had to do in my life. It was terrible. I'm not letting this go. I'm coming back for him with a vengeance. And I aim to do it now. What did he do to you in there? Don't worry about it. You're gonna make him die hard. With the vengeance. With the vengeance. Well, it's a good day to die hard. I say we keep course steady as it goes because you were on your way to come get me, right? Well, yeah, that kind of was the mission. Well, now I'm calling an audible. Audibles to kill the boar man. What do you guys think about this? Uh... I'll do it alone if you do not want to join me. Oh, shit. Wow, you're really serious about this. I am. Well, we wish you luck in your struggles and your campaigns. Farewell, Burden. <laughs> Slam the door on him. <laughs> <laughs> so now that the main party's here... <laughs> and the riffraff is gone. <clears throat> what do you guys think? Gentlemen, I think weapons check. Oh, I knew my boy. Then I inadvertently, down. without even thinking about it, pull out my daggers. <laughs> <laughs> Only this time, I let them have control. All right, so oh, the daggers take control. You feel them connect with you in a deeper way than the entombment did. And they say, ah, we are one now. We will watch your back and you can feed us. 
<laughs> Do I see this? Yes. Why is he laughing? Maniacally. Whatever. I'm gonna need some of that. You done? Yeah. Uh -huh. <clears throat> yeah. I sh sheathed them again. All right. I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> but it felt good. You seem different, Mr. Jokester. I feel different. How do you feel? Quite strange. A little bit stranger. A little stranger. <laughs> <laughs> little darker that's little. by design I was thinking it you said it <laughs> very obscure no one's gonna get that no, nobody's gonna get, no one's gonna get that no one's gonna get that maybe a few people on our discord yeah. <laughs> anyways nope <laughs> yep <laughs> uh maybe slightly more evil. If we're gonna continue this conversation, I must insist that you at least put some pants on. Oh. They were already on my ankles. I just pulled them up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Whatever. So, Mr. Jokester is on board. How about you, Doc? Well, of course. This guy's doing most horrible things that your imagination can create and he needs to be destroyed is the boar man a magic user by any chance I do not believe he is I believe he's just a big dumb ogre lots of strength very well how powerful are we talking what I know just by looking at him if you had to guess. Um, you're guessing the four of you against him, it would probably be an easy fight. Um, but to get him alone would be the challenge. He's a level eight warrior. I don't know. <laughs> His minions don't know that either. Lots of minions. Well, I did speak with the uh, Thieves Guild to get some information. Yes, we didn't discuss that information. Please tell us about the Borman's domain. Let's just say I got all the information I wanted. Which was? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hit him. Would the GM like to recall some of that info? Hey, have some fucking adventure. <laughs> Actually, the, the guy he talked to didn't have any information for him. He talked about some of the no. animals and whatnot. He told them that there were creatures in the mud. Yeah, but not start, what they were. Start there. But he, he didn't know what they were. Ah. We're just razzing him. <laughs> you have a little I was trying to help you. Non-sponsored oh. beverage on your nose. There you go. Uh, it's just, yeah. <laughs> Miller time. Yeah, see, notice it, it like, the nose goes into the mud. Ah, <laughs> uh, it happens. Double dipping. Thank you for that. Anyways. Follow your nose. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if y'all have uh, recognized this about me, but I kind of don't like knowing what's going to happen. Well, you're the only one. I prefer just going on an adventure, seeing what happens. Doc, we might have issues when we do get there. Can I explain to him the contraptions I saw? Mm -hmm. The little flying machines? Yep. That, they got these little machines that look like... La, 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 la. That, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Doctor, hit him. <laughs> <laughs> it appears you acquired a new weapon. Oh, Why yes. not try it out? What is that? It's not worth the effort. 
Okay, fine. Let's fucking plan it out. Oh, yeah. If we... I got a dragon heart. You missed a lot, Mr. Nocturnal. He's back in the room. <laughs> I, I let him back in. <laughs> Join us, Mr. Burden. Yeah, I go where you go, Doc. So a lot has happened. You got a new weapon. You got a new heart. Yep. Well, half of one. Hello. Fright Raven here. If you're still watching the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check out our other social medias. And if you're so inclined, don't be afraid to join our Patreon for exclusive content. And now, back to the show. I was just going to say a heart in general, but whatever. And you notice his eyes are kind of red. Looks like so. you got some conjunctivitis or something going on there. Why are your eyes so red? Because I'm half dragon now. Does he know about any of this? That he's got, like, powers? That, yeah. yeah. Well, well, not not this, that he has powers, yeah. but that... Does he know his eyes change color? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, they, we they told him. Me. Okay. Yeah. There's no Viazine for this one, Mr. Nocturnal. Oh, it's a shame. Looks like he's been celebrating 420 a little early. <laughs> or late. Ridiculous. Depending on how you look at it. You talking about jokester or burden? Oh, take your pick. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys are, are talking, uh, one of the 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 leader of the uh, small contingency force that's with you comes walking in. He says Nocturnal? Yeah. How'd uh, you guess? Because we were coming to save you. I saved myself, apparently. I found Jesus. I mean, Phobos. Yes. The one true God. The one true God. Um. Ishtar. So, what is the plan now? Now we're waging full on assault. We're taking down the boar man. You interested? Well, we were tasked to save you. So if you're going there, I guess we're behind you. Would it be beneficial for the guild to have this new land if we were to acquire it? <laughs> it wouldn't hurt. Land full of shit. If you, if you come and take shit. a seat, I can explain to you all in great detail the layout of the boar man's domain. Comes and sits down and goes, well, let's hear the plan. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just hoping that you're gonna, like, recall it for me. <laughs> I'll recall <laughs> it for you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm vigorously taking notes as you're explaining everything. <laughs> um, so there, there are approximately 12 hilltops. Uh, all of them occupied with towers. Um, they all have a bridge leading to one or two other hills. Um, the only way in and out from the ground is a land bridge to one of the hills. Um, the Borman's keep is in the middle of everything on one hill, uh, heavily fortified. Uh, there are little fast aircraft type deals that uh, patrol the skies. Uh, there are... Is that the little suits I saw? Yes. And there's uh, also uh, vessels that skim across the mud. Um, there are, upon the, the hills, there are troops that patrol. Um, there are untold creatures within the mud. <clears throat> Most of them aren't seen until it's too late. So most people don't know what's in them. Um, but past that, you don't know what else is there. Well, we're definitely further ahead than we were before you got here, Mr. Nocturnal. A lot of useful information you've acquired for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think that was useful at all. The information provided by Mr. Nocturnal? Oh, no, that was useful. But the stuff we got from him, not so much. I was belittling him, Mr. Burden. Oh. There you go. You can't belittle me. 
I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Let it slide. <laughs> I, I'm obviously not going to tell them about anything else. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep. <laughs> Demon. Yep. Colon. Yep. All the above. <laughs> we need to plan out a strike. I'm going to plot, plot the map. Mr. Nocturnal, we were recommended to land near this mine, about a, a day's walk from the mm -hmm. mine. About a day's walk from this mine. Do you know if it's still operational? You do not. You don't. I do not. Do don't. you know about where you were in relation to where this mine is? Yes. Um, he was actually on the opposite side of where that mine was. Yeah, good thing we got you. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> it, he's basically the second hill that you would have came to if you come across the land bridge. You said there was 12 hills? Yes. My vote would be disguise ourselves as a slaver ship and we just infiltrate and destroy. You said they wanted to drop us off. <clears throat> yes, I don't believe Captain Lindale wanted to sail close enough to do that. She wanted to drop us off a ways from the mine, for, from the Boreman's domain. If it's her prerogative, if she won't do it, then we don't have a choice. Someone could perhaps try to persuade her. It could work out better this way. They will never see it coming. Someone that has an in with her, so to speak? Who might Just that be? You're up. <laughs> I'm not sure she didn't seem too happy with me. She said all you had to do was ask. Yeah, but then I got shy. <laughs> I don't know how to take that one. Sorry if you don't That's... want my sloppy seconds, but get oh, your ass oh, in there. Why? <laughs> oh. Mr. Burton, would you please go have a talk with Captain Lindale? I just Lindale? got nauseous. Right away, Doc. <laughs> All right, I go to go have a talk with the captain. All right. We'll continue the conversation while he goes. Okay. Take it away. So you go up to the captain's quarters. Enter. Ah, hello, captain. Burden? Yes. I have something that I wish to speak with you about. Come in, close the door, and have a seat. Thank you. I sit down. How may I assist you? Well, as you saw, we have our nocturnal back. Yes, I saw this. <clears throat> However, we have formulated a plan to take out the Borman. But we will need your help and assistance. What are you requiring? We're asking that we have you masquerade this ship as a slave ship to take us all the way in so that way we may infiltrate as stealthily as possible and get as far in before we uh, make our move, as it were. If this was a normal ship, I would say yes. But as you see, my ship is all white. How would I disguise this ship as a slaver ship? Well... I'm thinking that we could have our Thieves Guild members, perhaps myself and Jokester, uh, in shackles of some sort. Not real shackles, but fake shackles. And uh, you're going there to sell the lot of us off. The boar man knows I do not do slaves. Yes, but... He will make an exception for this lot because one of our compatriots has besmirched you and your honor. So you have taken offense to that, and so you wish to sell him off and give him a proper punishment, as it were. Though he cannot perform well in the bed, the Borman would know I do not sell people. For any reason. 
paint the ship. We could paint the ship? I guess that might work. Like, we he needed the help. Don't judge me. <laughs> God damn. She goes, that was terrible. We can, we can divert to a, another trades city and disguise the ship, or maybe we can commandeer another ship. That would be wonderful. <clears throat> Thank you, Captain. We do appreciate your help. I will see what is best, and I will come find you and let you know what works best. Thank you. You are most welcome. I will let myself out now. <laughs> I will reach for the door. I say, unless there's something else you wanted to speak to me about. <laughs> eyebrows, eyebrows. <laughs> she goes, come back after dinner and we'll discuss. Thank you, Captain. He can't open the door. <laughs> <laughs> door stuck. He can't, can't twist and You got pull to pull it. it. Pull it. No, that's, that's pushing. Pull the door towards you. There you go. Oh, <laughs> oh these, these modern contraptions. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing quite so modern like a door. Yeah. Doctor, are you okay over there? I'm perfectly fine, Mr. Burden. What did the captain say? Mm. We're going to divert course to a new port. We're going to try to commandeer a, uh, <clears throat> another vessel or a new ship in order for this plan to work. Very well. Was that the only plan? Possible plan? I don't like Delane. As far as you're concerned, yes. If we choose not to delay, it will be a stealth ground assault from a distance. I'm fine with either. This will give us our best shot at the Borman. I think you're right. Delay it is. My concern is if we masquerade as a slave ship, how are we going to have access to our weapons, to our gear? I've got that all worked out already. Indulge us, Mr. Burden. Oh, yeah. So you guys are going to be holding back, or maybe a little bit in disguise, like at the back of the group. Myself and Jokester, since we're valuable commodities, at least a little bit, uh, uh, so uh, ourselves and the, uh, the five Thieves Guild members will pretend to be slaves being taken there to be sold off. All right? And whoever is selling us will have all of our gear uh, with us so that way they can... They're saying they're going to go trade it or sell it. And then when the time is right, our shackles come off, we grab our gear, and we attack. I like We're going to men and tights them. Yeah, we're going to men and tights them. To pretty much. <laughs> and when the ruse is discovered, what's going to happen to the captain? I recommend that she take to the to the air and bombard our enemies from above. As long as she's conscientious enough not to hit us. Oh, plus we have that little surprise from our uh, friends in the friendly skies. We do have that wild card. Uh, oh. I pull out my That's bag right, you of don't know holding. About that. And I start pulling out my explosives just to show Nocturnal Jokester. what I've got. I like where your head's out. Head's at. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> That's what they call a Freudian slip. That was definitely a Freudian slip. I can't remember. Did I get five or three of the large explosives? Five. five. Okay, that's what I thought. You got a, a bunch ten, of everything, five, apparently. So I got ten small explosives. Jokester. When we land, the first thing you need to do is blow up the suits. You'll see the suits. They have flying capabilities. We cannot risk the ship going down. What the hell are you the need suits? to sabotage those as soon as you can. Those fat cats in Washington. 
right. That's another list we're on. Thank you. Fat cats. You mean gangsters. Same thing. Anyways. Joke, sir. Do you agree to the plan? Sure. It's right next to the docking area. Don't, don't you fucking dare do it. <laughs> I will come over there and slap you. Don't. We land. <clears throat> you blow those things to sky high as soon as we land. And okay. we'll start infiltrating. Uh, I was, uh, I was thinking, though, would it not be a good idea to possibly save these for the towers? Possibly. I have a little something for the towers. Explosives down in the basement, perhaps. What towers? On the hills. Each hill has a series of towers. There's innocent people in those towers. I aim to set them free. I thought, okay, I'm sorry. I thought, um, it was where bad Insight guys check were. On Nocturnal? Sure. You planning on really setting them free? I was thinking like guard towers. Yeah, the, the towers are guard towers. The people that you said you're going to set free are in the mines. Oh. Miss. No, the fact that you said you want to set innocent people free is what I'm inciting on. Frog Hopper and Toad Sticker. <laughs> Those are my boys now. So you're telling the truth? I'm telling the truth. Okay. Well, it's a nat 20, so I can tell he's telling the truth. Okay. <laughs> he's telling the truth. Anyways, oh, I've what? got something for the towers. For all of them? Sounds like there's a lot of them. If we take them out from the bottom, then they could come down into their own footprint at like, refall speed. Like a controlled demolition? Like a controlled demolition. <laughs> Twelve hills. Let's stop there. <laughs> Twelve hills. Nanothermite. Twelve towers. Twenty mini kegs of flammable stuff. Looks like y'all came well equipped. For once. We've been doing some shopping. Appears so. Gentlemen, as much as I love this plan, let me offer one alternative before we decide. A favor is owed to me by her name, the Queen of Dragons, or Red. the Red Dragon the Red Queen. Dragon. <laughs> if we were to take the stealth approach, we could have her, as the distraction instead of Mr. Jokester, attack the mines, and would give us a chance to sneak in. That is just an alternative. What dragon? The <laughs> dragon that came and landed on the Black Rock after you got captured. The one that gave Mr. Burden his heart. No shit. Yeah. So it's an option. We could still use the dragon, but I'm saying if we wanted a stealth approach, that would be my vote. The airship I was on got attacked by something. I think it might have been the dragon. It may have been. Did we, do we know for sure? Yeah, you knew she attacked it. Okay, yes, it was the dragon that attacked the airship that you were on. Why did it stop? Why don't you ask Mr. Jokester? Why did what? The dragon was attacking my airship. It oh. stopped for some reason. Um, I was petting its child. Wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> that sounded horribly wrong. Can you rephrase? Pause. Rephrase. I was setting their child free. Got a Stop using that word. Got a windowless van and some candy, huh? <laughs> My god, man, use your words. Call it what it is. I unlocked their child cage <laughs> that it was captured Baby in. Dragon. Baby dragon? Baby dragon. Baby dragon. Not hard. Thank <laughs> That's the most vocal I've ever heard producer E. He must have really pissed him off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, now we lost we Aaron. We stumbled across. We oh. lost Aaron. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> you dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> we stumbled across a baby dragon that was locked in a cage. Oh, that makes more sense now. Thank you. <laughs> I unlocked the cage. It was injured. And while Dr. Straw was healing it, I was petting it. To you, keep it calm. You're petting the dragon? I was petting the dragon. He is telling the truth. It's brave of you. 
It's hey. an animal thing. Cheers, my boy. The fearless. I ain't scared of shit. We can still have the red dragon attack if we decide to do the slaver ruse. Or we can do the stealth approach. I'm fine with either. That's interesting. If we use the stealth approach, then we can have the dragons cover us upon our leaving. That was what I was thinking. I was thinking we infiltrate. They hit the towers while we free the people in the mines. Knock down the towers. That'd be our best bet. Into their own footprints. The guards are mostly in the towers. Correct? Towers are patrolling, yes. This could work out great. I say we go with both. So as far as the timing is concerned, should we have the dragons arrive shortly after we do or at the same time that we do? Shortly after. Okay. I will need to contact her to let her know. Sounds like a plan. I'm assuming the Borman would come out to inspect the new merchandise himself. Borman belongs to me. Nobody else touches the Borman. Are we clear? Good luck with that. Let me see what the dragon is up to. Is the captain on board? We get her on board? Where are we diverting to? We need to find out. Uh, she told me to come visit her after dinner, so... She also said I wasn't there. Did she say when she was going to let us know? Soon. Very well. I don't remember. What time the, of day is the, it? The other thief gets up and goes, Do you want me to go get the captain? We can tell her the plan. I'll go get her. You find out where we're being diverted to. Hey takes off. Um, it's about uh, it's about two in the afternoon. We're still like a full day away, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's without diverting. That's if we go straight there. That is correct. Okay. Um, the other thief comes back with Captain in tow. Captain Lindell comes in. She goes, so, I've got some news for you, gentlemen. May help your plans. May change your plans. If we divert, there are three ships that are willing to help. They are slaver ships. That will get you in close. How many men can we get? Probably a hundred foot soldiers. That could be enough. We have uh, some allies that you might not be familiar with. Doc. Want to fill her in? There is a red dragon that owes us a favor. And we were thinking that we could have her attack shortly after we arrive as a distraction and as cover. That would be one hell of a distraction. Captain Lindell, shortly after we depart, if you want to participate, we could use some air cover as well. If you want to drop bombs on the land... I will assist you in any way possible. Try to steer clear of the mines. I have allies in there. We will try not to hurt any innocents. Roger that. Sounds good. I'm okay with diverting if it leads to more men and more ships. It will. Captain, if we divert, how long will it be until we get to the to Mudfront, the lair of the Borman? It would just add one day. So we're looking at two and a half days? Yes. Okay. That's not bad. I need to contact the dragon. Is this the plan, gentlemen? Before I contact the dragon? This is the plan. This is the way. This is the way. I can't whistle. <laughs> Who knows the whistle from Mandalorian? Damn. I don't, unfortunately. Swing and a miss. <laughs> Captain Lindell. <laughs> I have one more favor. What is that, Nocturnal? I am wearing tattered rags. I need some proper armor. I can get you some armor. Keep the fishnets. And the chastity belt. (laughs) She goes, I believe something was delivered for you. If you would follow me, please. No kidding. No kidding. I'll follow. She brings you back to the captain's quarters. 
She points to a black chest. She goes, I'm not sure when it arrived or who delivered it, but it has your name on it. Wow. I'm going to check it. Okay. Inspection. You look at it. It's a, a normal chest. Uh, it's just black in color, and it has your name scratched in it. Do I need to roll anything? No. It's a mimic. That's what I'm thinking. (laughs) Screw it. Open it up. All right. You open it up, and inside is your harness and your old armor. No kidding. No kidding. Is there still giant holes in it from when I was impaled? Actually, it looks like it's been mended. No kidding. I was selling a fruit basket. Because I'm not sure who delivered it or when it got here. It's amazing. Thank you, Captain. You're most welcome. Truly appreciate it. I'm going to take my clothes off in front of her. Change clothes. Put my armor on. Would you like to see me after dinner instead of burden? Son of a... Fucking knew it. Damn you, White Cap. <laughs> With all due apologies, Captain. My heart belongs to someone else. Understood that? You are an attractive lady, though. Well, thank you. You can do better than Burden. <laughs> I'm not sure if the doctor was interested. Mother! <laughs> 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 he's, he's a hard read. <laughs> I can't tell, to be honest. <laughs> Truly appreciate it. If there's anything else I could do, I'll do it if it's within my powers. It's a pleasure to work with you, Nox. It's like, does she like see all my gross-ass scars and <laughs> yes. tortured shit? <laughs> she sees all of it. <laughs> She's... Well, I hope the woman that you love will be just as good. I'll find out soon enough if it's reciprocated. I hope for you it is. Thank you, Captain. We will be we'll be landing within a day and a half at our new location. The other ships are ready. They're trying to get ground troops. And we should be fitted with uh, explosives to drop upon. Sounds like a plan. And then we'll head off to the Borman's location and execute your plans. Truly appreciate it. Thank you, Captain. You're welcome. Enjoy. Put my old armor on. Okay. uh, Make my way back to the dining hall. All right. You make your way back to the dining hall fully dressed in your old armor. I'm going to send a message to the Red Dragon. Okay. Good Madam Dragon, we will be attacking the land of the Boar Man in two and a half days. Can you help? I'm sure that's less than 20 words. I will be more than happy to help you, Doctor. I will come now. I should arrive about the same time you do. Send (laughs) <laughs> Gentlemen, the dragon is on her way Want to tell her the targets that she needs to hit? What would you recommend? The towers? The towers Yes, I can tell her So I'm going to send another message I'm Trying to think of how to word this um, My crew will be in a slave ship If you could decimate their towers please I will take out the towers this is not a problem it, avoid the docking areas I said we were going to be in the slave ship so what yeah good enough <laughs> what is it why are you pointing nothing at don't worry about it <laughs> missed opportunity <laughs> when he points at you you just point right back I, I, don't, I don't know what the hell I don't know what he's talking about <laughs> All right, so you guys mm. sail on, Excuse uh, me. <clears throat> doing 
anything throughout the rest of the day or evening? Just want to relax. Okay. Chill. In a while. All right. You guys are relaxing. Good meal is put out on the table for you guys to eat. More ale is brought to you. After dinner, you guys doing anything special? Is there any, like, games, cards, anything to do? Yeah. Some of the crews doing poker. Uh, a couple of them are uh, sparring with each other. Is it like a weird type of poker? Or like traditional? Um, We'd have to like learn it. No, you. It, it, it's like traditional. Interesting. Some things are just universal. Jokester. You want to do some sparring, dude? Let's go show these guys how to do it. Go. Okay, fine by me. Nah, you and me versus two of them. Hand to hand? Sure. <clears throat> okay. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, uh, why not? <laughs> All right. So you guys go to the training deck. Two guys more than happy to spar with you guys. Hello, friends. We're just here, blowing off some steam. Ah, sounds Look, good. Looking for a good time. All right. Well then, let's Shut get up, started. <laughs> so do uh, initiative roll. Jokester. Oh. It's gonna get interesting, buddy. Fuck me, that one. <laughs> and I thought nobody would get lower than what I got. God. Fourteen. <laughs> so, it'll be nocturnal. The two crewmen, and then Jokester, because <laughs> I got a two and a three. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's pretty bad. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Suddenly, these dice are failing me. So I have a question. Yes. I can cast Darkness now. Yes, you may. I need to know if it's a bonus or a main action. It is a bonus. I'm gonna start there. Okay. And I use my blind fighting. Sneak up behind him. And give him a good punch into the face. <laughs> so this is. This is no weapons, right? Yeah. Oh. So, like, if I were to use any of the shadow abilities that could be shunned upon? No, the, the non weapon ones you could do. <laughs> No problem. I can make this work. Maybe. <laughs> oh, he like so the, the, the dark tentacles can grapple and hold people. No kidding. Yes. Is, it, uh, is there a check? You, you have to do a, uh, it'd be a, a strength attack. And on a successful a hit, I have to see if I can dodge you, but you've got, uh, I do believe I said up to six of them, I think. One to six tentacles? Yeah. Strength checks aren't going to help me out a whole lot. <laughs> I mean, you can try it. Okay. It's like, is it like a concentration spell or? Yes, those are all concentration uh your your tentacles your couldn't it be like a wisdom check instead i gotta argue with your strength check <laughs> that's detrimental to me <laughs> just saying for for some things it's different but for the tentacles no it, it it's gonna go off your strength okay sorry Guess I can try it, experiment with it. <laughs> do I just, there's just, I can do up to six. Mm -hmm. So I can try to grab both these guys. Mm -hmm. Do I just roll 120? So you'll roll one for each tentacle. Okay. Let's just do them both at the same time, why not? Wow. 19 and 16. Okay. Plus one, dirty 20, 17. They both failed. One with a natural one and one with a three. 
Nice. <laughs> so they didn't see anything coming because of the darkness, and you wrapped them up in tentacles. <laughs> made out of shadow. And they're like, oh, 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 what the hell? So I'm, I'm kind of done for this round, right? Mm-hmm. I'm done. Does that remind you of Poison Ivy? <laughs> you weren't there for that. <laughs> So I guess they don't have get turns anymore. <laughs> what? No, they 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 failed their their rolls. Or it's your turn. <laughs> so they gotta wait till the next go around. So I'm just gonna casually walk up to the first one. Just look him in the eyes. Did you, <laughs> did you drop darkness? Uh, I actually it did drop because you uh, activated the. Uh, the tentacles, so never mind. I don't know. I yeah. don't know if it's concentration or not. Yeah, it is. I'll make some side notes later, but yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I just slapped him across the face. Okay. Oh, one point of damage. Uh, a dirty 20. Okay. And you don't have any strength there? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. One point of damage. <laughs> so you slap the guy across the face. He's like, oh. Nocturnal, back to you. Do I do like any type of squeezing damage or does it just hold him? No, it just holds. The, the tentacles don't do any damage. Now you can lift him up and let go. <laughs> what about the... the the whips be considered weapons would be a yeah. The, the shadow whip is a weapon. Can I just have them like lift them up and drop them down? Mm-hmm. All right. What do I roll? Um, you just say you're gonna lift it up and drop them down. I'm gonna lift them up and drop them down. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> uh, you can roll a d6 for for damage for them when they're released. Four and a five. Cool. Is there any bonuses to that? No. No, that's oh, just, just fall, fall damage. damage. Okay. No problem. Take that. Does, does that consider my turn? or? Yeah. All right, so one guy gets up, really upset with you, and he attacks you, gets a critical punch. <laughs> Ooh, I don't think so. <laughs> uh -oh. I got a reaction. <laughs> A shadow shield. No, this is plus three to my AC. I don't think it's going to work. Nope. Because it's a nat 20 that he's got. I got my belt back from the... With the, the bats, right? Mm -hmm. I got the reaction to impose disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> so you release the bats? I release the bats. <laughs> and with that, he uh, misses. <laughs> so what is counting on. Are these guys watching? I'm in the cabin. I'm actually praying. Okay. I was heading to somewhere. After <laughs> <laughs> I know where he's heading. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, they're both freaking out a little bit because of the shadows and, and the bats now. <laughs> Neither one of them can, can punch you. <laughs> they miss you. <laughs> so... Joker, your turn. Yes, sir. Swings go wide. I just step aside from one of the punches, come around the other way, <laughs> slap him again. <laughs> Almost. Nat 20. Oh, God. There you go. Oh, all right. Two, you two points. Two points of damage. Two points of damage now. <laughs> Moving on now. <laughs> Who's a big hitter? <laughs> Give, give the guy a big old smack on the back of the head. Oh, oh. <laughs> Nocturnal. <laughs> what would you like to do? Uh, unarmed combat, huh? Guess I'm gonna just cast darkness. And sneak up behind one and try to punch him in the back of the head. Okay. So cast darkness. Mm hmm. Strength check. Yep. Yeah, to, to punch strength. 16. 
that hits. Boom. I think I'll only do one point of damage, though. <laughs> you don't have a strength modifier? That is my strength modifier. Actually, zero. zero. Yep. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, I got plus three. No, wait. That's the chance to hit. Yep, just one. Okay. It's, it's going to be a long battle. So, guy does a wild swing on you again. Completely misses. The you other should... guy. He connects with you. Do they all have disadvantage from darkness? Oh, that's right. Did you recast it? Yep, he did. I never... I did recast it, yeah. And that would be a miss. So, again, the stumbling around. Not connecting. I have blind fighting, but I think you have disadvantage now. Yep. Sweet. Fumbling around in the darkness. Uh, it wouldn't be the first time today. Well. <laughs> <laughs> or within the last 24 hours. Uh, 13. Oh, I'm sorry, 14. That actually hits. Oh, wow. So, once again, I just step aside, but this time I'm just... <laughs> just give him a... The good old backhand. Nice little <laughs> flick of the wrist right to the back of the head. <laughs> All right. All one point of damage. <laughs> so, he's, oh, oh. What the heck? What is this? <laughs> Nocturnal. <laughs> Your turn. I need to find a way to do some extra damage. Is there any, like, blunt objects that I can grab while no one can see? So we're switching to weapon use. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in darkness. There's, there, there's, were some training implements around. Table, chair. <laughs> let's, let's grab a chair. <laughs> we're going to do a DLC match. <laughs> okay. Sneak up behind one and smack him. Is it advantage or because he's dark or? Yes, it would be an advantage. Ah. <laughs> so strength? Yes. That's a nine. <laughs> so <laughs> you smack the wall. <laughs> it's kind of wild swing, hitting the wall with the chair. The, uh, the first guy, he's like, I'm done. I'm out of here. <laughs> let, let the darkness go. I'm done. <laughs> he's just freaking out with the bats flying around. <laughs> and the other guy <laughs> trips and falls <laughs> as he's trying to find Jokester. You just hear, ah. <laughs> And actually, you can see in the dark now. Really? Mm-hmm. I think I might have wasted a perk in blind fighting then. <laughs> oh. Oops. <laughs> even even in magical darkness, you can see. Now. Oh, nice. Slap him around. It's going for yet another. It'll be a straight roll because uh, he's prone. Oh, cancels it out. Yep. That's right. This time... Uh, 19. You hit. And this time it's going to be more of a sack tap. Which is one of those <laughs> <laughs> As he's recovering to his feet, you. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Nocturnal, it's back to you. <laughs> I, I hate to use player knowledge, but uh, why don't you do a bonus attack? You can use another one, right? I mean, I could, but what the hell for? For one more point of damage. <laughs> <laughs> it would double up this combat. Is the intent to take them all the way down to zero? Don't have to. <laughs> one guy already quit. He's, he's done. <laughs> and that depends. Where are we at on time? <laughs> Four minutes. <laughs> Let's just, the jokes are slapping around for four more minutes, and then we can call it. <laughs> Is there anything y'all want to do while we're doing this? Yes. 
<laughs> yes. Something I've been trying to do all episode. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so while the fight's going on, Burden, <laughs> what are you doing? I feel a cliffhanger coming up. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. Hello, Captain. Burden. You lost your wood there. It's okay, I got another piece. Right here. <laughs> Gonna woo her. Yes. Captain, I have come to woo you. With another performance. And no trickery this time. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I have to roll a performance? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Unless yeah. you can actually play. <laughs> Someday. Uh, ah, dirty 20. Okay. It's not the worst song. Take the bottle. Shake it up. <laughs> Break the bubble. Break it up. Pour some sugar on me. In the name of love, pour some sugar on me. He's brave. Get enough. He knows this is going on the internet, yet he persists. <laughs> I'm hot, sticky, sweet. <laughs> from my head to my feet, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And that's where we'll leave off the episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you, could, you can do a, another performance check and... <laughs> <laughs> clickety clack, clickety clack, clickety clack. And that's where we end. <laughs> that is cocked. Twenty-five. All right. Boom. <laughs> that's how you do it. That's how you do it. In your face, son. I'm not in the room with you. I don't care. I'm thinking this in my head. In your face, son. I'm just in. The, I'm just out slapping the fuck out of people like I, I, I. Doctor, what would you like to be doing during this fight? Do we need to complete his theme? No. I will complete it when we come back. Okay. I, I just had find one. Find out what happened. I just had one quick thing that I wanted to yes. do. All right. So obviously, I haven't told anyone about the the situation with Sarah Ha. Mm-hmm. But I am praying to Phobos, and without going into it, the gist is I am concerned with this individual because she wants the power that my lord is bestowing upon me and I want to know if it is possible to defeat her mm. give me a wisdom check just straight wisdom yep 10 at this time, there's no reply. Ooh. Obviously, you're busy. I will check again later. <laughs> He's my lord. Busy managing the cosmos. He doesn't have time for you. <laughs> you are the one true god. <laughs> Pray like, harder. Just leaving a message. It's like the magic eight ball of deity. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I guess... Uh, I guess you and I can let them off the hook. I'll dispel it and help the guy up. Okay. <laughs> He's like, that's some crazy stuff, man. No. <laughs> you just stay on my side and we'll be good. <laughs> no hard feelings, friend. <laughs> no. Just man. trying out some new powers. <laughs> man, I cannot wait to use that in actual combat with weapons. <laughs> It could be fun. Oh, it's going to be fun. Definitely. You take care, buddy. 
<laughs> we'll see you on the battlefield. Yes, yes, definitely. I want to see that in action. Come have an ale with me and Jokester. Okay, we'll yeah. We'll party the rest of the night. All right. And the rest. Find your friend that ran off. <laughs> He's get probably him. already drinking. <laughs> we'll get him a beer, too. It's fine. <laughs> All right, so you guys retreat back to the, the dining facility to uh, in partake in a, some ale and good times. Yup. More money. And Burden's enjoying the evening. I use uh, prestidigitation. Allegedly. To make sparks fly everywhere. She never rolled a counter against his. <laughs> you want to keep the the people in suspense? <laughs> no. I can keep I can keep them in suspense. Suspense. We will uh, let you know how well you do uh, next time. <laughs> Let's assume it went poorly. I got skills. So with that, <laughs> thank you for watching Super Cringe Roleplay. Wait, Until next... I have a timeout. Hold on, timeout. You have an announcement. I have an announcement. You said... Oh. You're, you're, you're wanting to level? That's what you said in Discord. Uh, as soon as we got back together. <laughs> I'm going to hold you to it. I did. I did. Yes. <laughs> the team does level up. Level six, here we come. <laughs> My sex was so good it has empowered me. <laughs> back to level four. <laughs> Damn it. I, I did. To you. The team does level up. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Until next time, thank you for watching Super Cringe Roll. Thank you, guys. <laughs>